Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to be playing with the Anastasia Master Palette by Mario. I got this palette a few weeks ago and I finally just got a chance to play with it. I'm going to show you how I got this soft daytime glam look. Enjoy the video. So I'm going to start with this shade named Lula. Just because I feel like it. I don't even know why. It's the color that's calling my name right now. So I'm going to go in with Lula and I'm going to use this in my upper crease as my transition shade. And the brush that I'm using right now is the Sigma E40 blending brush. So like I said in the beginning, I've had this palette for a few weeks now and I just haven't had a chance to use it and I am so excited to use it right now because the palette is gorgeous and oh my god the pigment in this is incredible they're super soft so you if you are rough with your brushes uh, you're gonna make a mess so be very 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 gentle with these with these um, eyeshadows and your brush So yeah, I'm going to use Lula as my transition shade. As you can see, it's blending out beautifully. Like, bam. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to use is Isabel. And it's this beautiful... Look, I just have a tiny little bit on my brush. Let's see what happens. This is a burnt orange with a matte finish. I'm going to put Isabel... Can you see that already? Um, I'm going to put Isabel into my crease and I'm going to bring it in. And Lula is a taupe shade with a matte finish in case you care to know. So I'm just blending this into my crease because I want some warmth into this look. And Isabel is bringing it to me, so good choice. See how pigmented that is? I don't know if you can see that. But they're so pigmented and I'm like barely grabbing any of the eyeshadow. And the brush I'm using is a Morphe M441 brush which is also a blending brush, but it's much smaller than the um, Sigma E40. So the next shade that is calling my name is Kim, of course. And Kim is a, what are they calling this? A light golden brown with a shimmer. It's pretty, it's a pretty shade. And I'm gonna place this on my mobile lid. So I guess I'm going for a brown look. <laughs> I guess so. A nice brownish, light brown, smoky daytime look. I think that's the route that I'm going with right now. And did I say what brush I'm using? I don't even know. I'm using the Sigma E55. Okay, so going back to Isabel and my Morphe M441 brush, I'm just going to blend out that crease. Just a little bit. And I'm barely putting any eyeshadow on this brush because you really don't need a lot of eyeshadow because it's so pigmented, like unbelievably pigmented. All right, 
Alright, so the next shade I'm using is Violetta. And Violetta is a chocolate brown with a matte finish. I'm just going to place this on my outer V to deepen this area out and just to elongate my eye. So I'm just, right now I'm just placing it, stabbing it right there to see how deep I want it. Let's stab it one more time and add a little bit more. And now I can blend it out. And the brush I'm using is a Luxie brush. And this one is, what are you? A 237 blending brush. It's tiny and it's cute and it fits just perfect into my crease and that outer V. I'm dragging it up a little bit because like I said, I want to stretch out my eye, but I want to bring it up too. Alright, that looks good. So on to the next eye. Same thing, I just tap it on. See where I want it. So for my brow bone highlight today I'm using I'm gonna use Hollywood which is a weak gold with a satin finish normally I go matte I just like matte um, under my brow but there is no matte shade here that I would personally put on my brow bone so we're gonna go with Hollywood and let's see how this goes like I said it's a satin finish so it shouldn't be so bad I mean, for you girls that love that glow on your brow bone, then yeah, it looks pretty though. I just personally like a matte eyeshadow for my brow bone. But uh, yeah, this Hollywood shade is gorgeous. Ooh. The brush I'm using is a Luxie 211. It's a concealer brush, but hey, listen, it fits. See if it's right there, and I like it. My brow bone. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna blend this out with the Sigma E40, which is the brush I use on um, the taupe shade, which is Lula. On to the bottom lash line, I'm going to use, what am I going to use? I'm going to use Violetta first for my lash line. I'm just going to keep Violetta really tight right on my lash line. And hmm, I don't think I'm going to bring it all the way in. Let's see. I think I'm going to keep it halfway in. Actually, screw it. It's going all the way in. Smoking it out, you guys. Yes. Good choice. By the way, the brush I just used is a Morphe M432 brush. Now, I'm going to use Isabel to blend this out. And I'm going to use the brush that came with this palette. I'm going to use the shorter um, side of it. And just tap that in there. And start blending.
on the waterline i'm going to use this essence gel eyeliner it's a waterproof eyeliner and it's a brown shade and i'm just going to keep going on with the browns because i've already started i have this golden brown look going on and i think i just want to stick to this look For my inner tear duct area, I'm using Fifth Ave, which is a golden beige with a metallic finish. And I'm going to drag it just a little bit into my lower lash line and tie it in with Isabel and Lula. Yes, this shade is so beautiful. Wow. The brush I'm using is a Sigma E30 pencil brush. Um, all right, so what am I gonna do next? I think I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. I am not going to wing it out. I don't think I am. No, I think I'm just gonna do some eyeliner, keep it really tight to my lash line, put mascara on and some lashes, and I'll be right back. So this is the end of the video you guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial the palette is stunning i love it as much as i love all her other palettes and her single eyeshadows and her glow kits and all of her highlights i just love anastasia beverly hills i swear the products are amazing um i'm wearing ruby woo on the lips because I wanted to make this super glam. Obviously, I am wearing super glam um, eyelashes and the ones I used were the House of Lashes Feline. Um, if I wanted to use this as a daytime look, like I said in the beginning, then I would skip the red lip. I would probably go with a nude or a mauve shade to make it more daytime appropriate, but I don't know. I just felt like doing glam and listen. And I haven't used Ruby Woo in like forever, so yeah, what better time to use it than now. Um, the palette, the palette is amazing, it's gorgeous, it's pigmented, it's easy to blend, it's just beautiful. I am a big fan of Anastasia products, so yeah, she has not let me down so far. The highlights I'm wearing today is from the Anastasia Glow Kit, the Sun Dip glow kit and is the shade bronze the one that i'm wearing today so if you care to know it's this one in this corner right here um on the bridge of my nose i did throw on a little bit of summer uh, it's super super glowy and that's it you guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the tutorial leave me your comments down below don't forget to follow my other social media also watch my previous videos and until next time Mwah. Hugs and kisses. Bye.